Hey, NEBC family, good to see you. Uh, on Monday, Governor Baker uh, released details about a four-phased strategy for reopening the state of Massachusetts. As part of phase one, and we are in phase one right now, uh, churches are permitted to open so long as they follow certain modifications and safety standards. Um, churches uh, can open, but they are limited to 40% of their maximum occupancy. Additionally, uh, churches must also uh, follow the social distancing guidelines, which have been spelled out, um, the most familiar of which is people giving uh, six feet of space uh, from them to the next person. And so when we put these two uh, restrictions next to each other, um, we can have 40% of uh, our building occupied, uh, but probably the more restrictive number is going to be the social distancing number of six feet um, in between people. And so I know many of you are really, really anxious to get back. Um, I know I'm anxious to have everyone back. Uh, we're ready to pack the pews on one hand, but on the other hand, uh, we need to reopen in a very intentional and safe and considerate way. Uh, and so of course we uh, wanna follow all these guidelines. Uh, we want to have a church which is safe, um, a church which is welcoming, and uh, all of that will help us to be a church where we can worship together again, uh, hopefully soon. Uh, we will not hold a live service this Sunday, May 24th. Uh, we will have an online service available for you, just as we have the past two months, uh, but we will not have a live service this Sunday. Um, we are beginning to intentionally move towards reopening the church and offering live services. Uh, but for the next few weeks, uh, we're planning on continuing in our online format. Uh, so we'll keep you informed uh, of how we're going to do this uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, Pastor Matt has been in touch and um, has been talking with all of our ministry leaders, and we're trying to figure out the best way to restart many of our programs and activities. Some of these programs and activities uh, have a natural stop in May or June anyways uh, because they take the summer off, but some things we can restart again. And so uh, we're trying to figure out what's the best way to start a youth group and prayer meeting and Bible studies and small groups. And uh, you'll be hearing more updates from either me or Pastor Matt or your ministry leaders uh, going forward. So again, I just want to be uh, clear. Uh, we will not have a live service this Sunday at 10 o'clock. Um, I just don't want you to walk up the sidewalk and be all excited and no one's here and the door is locked. Uh, but you can see the service online just as you have for the past two months and uh, I will see you there on Sunday. Uh, one last thing, uh, no matter when we open the church or how we uh, reopen it, uh, we are going to be providing our services online going forward. And so these will uh, hopefully be uh, a big help to those of you uh, who can't get out to church for whatever reason. Um, our church from now on will be uh, having online services available for you to watch. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. We'll continue our study in the book of James. Have a great week.